Now we come to another honour in the gift of the Academy, the Michael Balkan Award for Outstanding Contribution to Cinema. To present it, an actress who's worked in some of the world's most inhospitable locations, the African Rainforest for Gorillas in the Mist, Deep Space for Aliens 1, 2 and 3, Wall Street for Working Girl, and now the great room of the Grosvenor House Hotel. Will you please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Sigourney Weaver. This award is named after Sir Michael Balkin, the man who gave us the vintage Ealing comedies, which remain as funny now as in their heyday in the 1940s and 50s. Any special award is defined by the previous recipients, and in this case they include Mike Lee, Ridley and Tony Scott, Kenneth Branagh, and the Monty Python team. This year, the Malcolm Balkin Award for Outstanding Contribution to Cinema goes to a man whose 40-year career encompasses more than 100 films. His job is probably the most essential to the final look of the picture, camera operator. He is already a legend in the film industry, but although his name is unlikely to be familiar to a wider audience, his film certainly will be, as you'll see in a minute. I've had the pleasure of working with him twice, on Girl is in the Mist in 1987 and again a couple of years ago on Snow White. Sometimes as an actor in front of the camera you feel so vulnerable, and believe me, I have been more intimate with this man behind the camera than practically anyone besides my husband. And he is right there with you when I was, um, with me, when I was ingesting my stepdaughter's heart in Snow White, when I was taking a bath in the African mountains with Brian Brown. Wherever you go emotionally, he is right there with you. He is the first choice of directors worldwide, Steven Spielberg, Alan Parker, Richard Attenborough, and Neil Jordan among them for his all-seeing eye and for his calm temperament, which always makes it a pleasure to work with him. Let's take a look at some of his work. There's this incredible uh, thing that Mike has that when you see him bent over a camera, be it 60 feet high on a crane or on a track. It's like, it's an extension of his body, the camera, you know. I'm sure he was born with a camera in his hand. The camera operator is, uh, is the eyes of the director. Mike is the lens and Mike is the way in which the camera moves and therefore the way in which the scene develops. I mean, he has an incredible brilliance at this, which is the movement of the camera how the lens can move and how he can physically operate the camera and uh, all of those elements coming together is where really, really wonderful cinematography actually really works. We needed someone who could really help us. And Michael was this sure hand, was this person who brought this huge confidence and huge amount of experience. He's done so many movies, he's been so important to people in the process, you know, and uh, the string of movies he's done is, is, is remarkable.
Your Royal Highness, members of the Academy, I feel very proud and honoured to receive this award tonight. Thank you. Looking back over 114 films, I've been very lucky working with some great directors, DOPs, artists and crews. Producer Steve Woolley, directors like Alan Parker, Steven Spielberg, Neil Jordan, Richard Attenborough, Roland Joffe, and many others. And I'd better mention Roger Michel as I start a film with him tomorrow morning. <laughs> Roger. But making films is a team effort, so I must also thank those who've worked me behind the camera, camera assistants, continuity props, and my dolly grip, Colin Manning, who over the years has probably pushed me halfway around the world <laughs> to arrive here to receive this magnificent award. Last but not least, my wife Eileen, my daughters Danielle and Georgina for their love and support over the years. Thank you.